go. With Gucci. Everybody feeling today. See, when I say how you feeling, I really be meaning how you feeling. Like, I'm beyond the just, hey, how you doing? And just keep it moving. Because a lot of times that people ask how you doing, make me question, do they really be concerned with how I'm doing? Or they just asking the typical how you doing? Whichever the case may be, man, just always mean what you say and say what you mean without being mean when you say it. But I asked how you doing today, man, just to really check on everybody, man, just to see how you doing and see if you really tapped in Patients fully to see how how you doing or know how you doing. Excuse me, I all got burp, always got burp when I start talking and shit. But yeah, I was just sitting back thinking like, dang. And it's safe for the enamel. My patients will love it. Like what else? Or just, just, just thinking about y'all you know saying, just be dead and just, just wondering, you know, what I'm saying like, what if Michael Max and Martin Luther King was having a conversation? You know what I'm saying? Like, how you think that would go? And then also to think like that, like, make you think, well, what am I contributing to? You know what I'm saying? This like, just. Recently, we had Martin Luther King Day, and um, for one, I ain't see too many real big all-out celebration of that day like you would normally catch. You know what I'm saying for other days or whatever, right? And and you know, it's kind of been like that our entire life that that day wasn't really blown up to be bigger than it than what it should have been. You know. It's amazing that Easter is 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 a bigger celebration than Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King Day, for real, for real, for myself, growing up, it's been nothing more than just a day off. You know what I'm saying? If you was lucky to even catch that. So, I just be, you know, a little amazed by that whole situation. But I also wonder... Like when you really think down to it, right? And really put train the thought into like where you at now and where people used to be at back then. Like what if they was having a conversation right now, you know? What if Malcolm X was like, hey Martin, and Martin laying back, I envision Martin laying back, you know, I don't know why I envision them being in the cell. They not in the cell. The man the men ain't in no cell, but I just envision them, they've been in close quarters, one laying back, one up, walking around pacing. And, uh, Martin just cooling, you know what I'm saying, thinking like he always thinking, because Martin was able to see further down the line. You dig? He had a vision. He always had a vision. And so he in his zone right now thinking while Malcolm is pacing like, man, hey, Martin, you see this shit? So Martin cooling like, <laughs> what's up, X, what you talking about? So like nah homes, because we just like put in work and, and folks just like ain't even appreciating that shit, Slim. Like Slim, we real live put in work more like we sacrificing everything like Slim. Y'all got hit with the water holes and everything, bro. Like y'all, y'all real live got y'all issues. Me and my folks, yeah. You know, hey Slim, I ain't gonna lie. Watching the Malcolm X movie. I wasn't born back then, you know what I'm saying? But I doubt they would put that scene in that movie if that man wasn't really like that. You hear me? But when Malcolm was outside that police station slim, with all his his his, his good men from the NOI, slim, when he put that hand up and told them bounds to move without telling them to move, hey, cuz. That's when I knew Marco was a real ass dude, Slim. So that's when I got in that conflict of interest. Like, damn, I, I fooled with Martin Luther King because I understand where he's coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like, he been a man of the cloth and non-violence, non-violence. And turn the other cheek, peace be still. So he following the word of God, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but you know, when you got a little street in you, plus when you did a big, like Marco, like, yeah, hey, by any means necessary, Holmes, you hear me? Like, I ain't rocking, you know what I'm saying? So, I be having the best of both worlds. I be having both feelings. So, I'm like, dang, just just imagine, like, dang, them two sitting back talking. Then it make me think, like, what are you contributing? So, 
that's why when the opportunity given, you know what I'm saying, like I, I can't do much, but the little bit that I can, I try to contribute, you know what I'm saying, more good than evil, more good than bad, you know what I'm saying, try to see the more positive than negative, you know, and I definitely try to big up people around me, like if you doing some homes, that's, that's it, that's the key right there, do something, some pe people, you know what I'm saying, do something. That's the whole task, man. Just do something, you know what I'm saying? So if you working, like, hey, faith without works is dead, so you got to do something, homes, you know? And them dudes did something, like, they wasn't known for being rappers. They wasn't known for being movie stars and all that type of stuff. Them dudes was known for standing on real business. Real business, how it can make a difference. Like, look, it's, 2000, it's 2024. You hear me? It's 2024. From what my man did way back then. We able to still march around this joint and move how we want to move. And some people didn't get so comfortable. They like, damn. We feel entitled and shit. But do you remember when niggas ain't had shit? You hear me? Like, stop playing so much. So, you know, when I get on my little, in my little conscious zone, that's why it's good to be alone, you know what I'm saying, sometimes. But sometimes you got to tap in, Slim. Like, you got to really tap in to find yourself. Like, when you know who you are. So, all right, what did you bring to the table? Like, everybody talking about the table and everybody mind literally stop at freaking finance. Like, like if money is everything, like, if you got money, we're going to be good. No, it's miserable broke motherfuckers. Like, think about it, Slim. Robert Williams. Robert Williams, right? If I'm not mistaken, that's Holmes' name. Robert Williams. Miss Delphire. You know what I'm saying? Holmes, in our eyes, living the life. What is you stressed about? What is you depressed about? Because you go where you want. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you on, you doing movies. You know what I'm saying? Boop, boop, boop. You're doing this. To the outside looking in, you're living life. You're good. But, once again, never know what anybody going through. So, boom. He up. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So money is is not everything. So now you got all the money and you still not complete. It's people with private islands. They got ranches. They got land. You got this. You got that. And you're still unhappy. Then you got a person that don't have nothing but a freaking tent to their name. And they have joy in their heart. Why do they have joy? Because they at peace. They not fighting over stuff that don't even matter. This stuff is make believe. You know? What is you willing to give, you know what I'm saying, to get? What is you contributing, you know what I'm saying, to the universe? How is you giving back? How is you being the change that you want to see? You know what I'm saying? Like things like that, man, like realistic speaking, like I be seeing a lot of times everybody got opinion. But ain't talking about nothing. I'm like, Holmes, I treat, I treat, I treat me strolling on the internet. I treat that junk the same way I treat a book. You hear me? Like, if you ain't doing nothing but just talking to rapping negativity on your page or something like that, nine out of ten, I'm not gonna really, you know what I'm saying, pay attention to you. You know what I'm saying, just to be honest. Cause it's like, shit, my life been negative. What I need to listen to your negative shit. I got my own shit to think about if I want to be down. And you know what I'm saying, I don't get joy. Out of hearing somebody else like messed up, that's that's depressing. You bring you bring you bring the negativity around me. I might tell you like, go ahead, homes, like, go ahead, Slim. You know what I'm saying? Like, be cool. You hear me? So, boom. That's just where I be at with it. You know what I'm saying? And not to just disregard like you don't have no issues, but try to find different ways to channel that stuff because you know you could shift things you could shift energies you know what i'm saying a person who gets so caught up you know what i'm saying trying to be there for you especially if it's a i already know where a person that like is you coming for advice or is you trying to dump your negative energy off on me you know what i'm saying like if you trying to come from some advice or some shit like that's something different but you can't call me every day just to be the trash man like i don't do that you know what i'm saying i don't do that i don't pick up trash you hear me so like I'm just not there for that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I be cautious of that. Like, where's we going with this conversation? Like, is we looking for an outcome? Like, if you're not looking for an outcome, then I don't want to hear it. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't want to hear it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 not my story. Like, I don't want to hear it. Like, what? Like, I don't even deal with stuff like that in my own life. Like, so why would I want you to pick up your phone, call me, bring your negative energy over to my world? Like, nah, negativity, nope. Mm-mm. It's not going to work. So, boom. 
I just like get up out of there, like I don't be nowhere with it, right? So my circle get small. It be like, damn, so I'm how, how, you know what I'm saying? You don't even want to hear what I gotta say because like every time you open your mouth, it's negative. You know what I'm saying? If you bring some positivity, that'd be different. If you were saying like, oh, I seen this good documentary or I was listening to this speaker today or I heard this from Eric Thomas or I was listening to Milan talk. You know what I'm saying? Like if you was coming to say some shit like that, then I'd be like wide open. Like what? What they were talking about, homes? What they on? You hear me? Because it's gonna be something good. Like I can't eat. I can't eat off the negativity, like, I can't take it with me, like, that's why I stopped reading urban novel books, you know what I'm saying, don't get me wrong, shout out to all the urban novel readers, you dig what I'm saying, I love what you do, creativity, it goes far, but I started getting hung up in your books when I was incarcerated, cause, you know, I'm gonna lock up, I ain't had nothing else to do at that time, and that's when I learned about urban novels, and they was entertaining, then, I mean, I, I done read them jumps, and, 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 Coming from a person who didn't read like that, I started feeling like I was like that. Because now I'm reading up to like motherfucking damn near two, three books a week. I'm getting like that. I went from not reading at all to reading like damn near two, three books a week. So now I got books under my belt. I'm like, oh yeah. When niggas get to talking about what books they read, I'm like, oh yeah, I read that journal. Yeah, I read that one too and get to telling stories. I'm like, damn. The shit I was missing in school, nigga came to jail and learned. You hear me? Reading comprehension. Like, I was I was blown away because we'd get to talking about the story. And I was like, damn. That's what the fuck they was talking about in school when they was talking about, now, what did Murray do again when she seen Sam? I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. You hear me? But the whole time, I wasn't comprehending what I was reading in school. So when I started interacting with the motherfucking jumps, that's what made it easier. Like, when I came off lockup, I went and got my GED. I already knew I was getting my GED, so... I wasn't going to play with them. I went and got my GED. But yeah. I read so many of them jumps, right? And then. I met this dude. Who. If you ask me. I think. Very highly of the young man. You did. But at the same time. I'm always going to keep it a stack 100. You hear me? I like to call him a smart dummy. What do you mean? What do I mean by that is, right? A smart dummy is a person who... Oh, oh it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Pretty much a person who knows what to do right, you know what I'm saying, but still chooses to do wrong. But I like to call him a smart dummy. So, anywho, met this young man. And, uh... I knew Shorty. I knew Shorty from out. I knew he was from out the way. Not only did I know he was from out the way, but I knew he was from out Merlin. I knew he was from out Merlin too. You hear me? Way before we had that discussion. Cause it's a different. It's, it's a different swag. See, when you've been around, you've been around Slim. You could you could read a nigga before. Just listen to a nigga Slim. You hear me? You could tell where a nigga at straight straight off back. You hear me? For real, for real. But uh. <clears throat> I knew he was from Merlin. Just soon, soon I heard him talk. I knew he was from out Merlin. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause when you, when you from out, when you away from around the way, you hear Bama talk, they stick out like a sore thumb. But when you really, really like that, like me, oh, you don't only stick out that I know you from out the way. I'm gonna tell you exactly from where out the way you at. You know what I'm saying? I could tell the city talker, I could tell the Merlin talking, I could tell the farmers. You hear me? When I say farmers, the Moco, Ward, off Charles County crew. You dig they fauners. I look at them like out the outer circle. Because when I think out the way, I think about DCPG. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all. Like, period, point blank, period. Like, yeah. Because I don't stumble into Waldorf. I don't. It's a planned trip. Every time I say I'm going to Waldorf, it's a planned trip. Like, we always say, hey, tomorrow, going to Waldorf. It's like, it's almost like, you know what I'm saying, vacation. You know? Because when we go to Waldorf, like, we're getting away. We're getting away from out the way. You hear me? So, yeah, it's like a road trip, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just enough, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just enough. So, anywho, yeah, I already knew Charlie from all Merlin, but anywho, but Charlie was a smart dummy, like he was a wise, a wise young dude, you know what I'm saying? At this time, we young, I think I was like 23, yeah, because at this time, I'm doing like a year on lockup for a stabbing, so I'm 23. So, boom, Shorty get to chopping it up with us, you know what I'm saying? And that's another reason I knew he was from Merlin, because he was geeking. Like, he knew me and my cell buddy was from out the way. He didn't know exactly where. Like, he heard us talking there. He was just geeking. Like, his eyes was wide open. Like, I mean, that's how I pictured him in his cell. Like, oh, shit, there's some homies around. You hear me? So, yeah. 
that was Jack Geeky for real to cut it to me about my ass. And we do it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you. We Jack Geeky too. You know what I'm saying? We in the mountains. It's like, it's like if, 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 it's like, I don't know. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we was geeking because it's like seeing one of my own. You know what I'm saying? It was like, hey, he look like one of us. You hear me? So it was like <laughs> seeing one of my own. You hear Bama say, young Joe, any of that slam. You know what I'm saying? You already know, like, okay, that's family. You hear me? So boom. We get to chopping it up. I don't remember exactly how the Bama cut in. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, oh, it, it was on some janky shit to even fumble more let us know he's from out, you know what I'm saying, Merlin. Cause I think he said, A hey, young. Like, but his young was extra as shit. Like, he wanted us to know he from out the way. A hey, young. Y'all got some bucks over there. Or some little wild, goofy, cutting and shit like that. So, I, I ain't about to just jump off my bunk and get to talking to the random boss from the wall. You hear me? Even though I'm curious where the fuck he from and all that, I still got to play it cool. I don't know how you hear me. So, yeah, my cell buddy, another one. You hear me? So, he it was, uh, you know what I'm saying, faking like shit. Like, Shawty was a typical light-skinned nigga. Like, I'm talking about a typical light-skinned nigga. When I say typical light-skinned nigga, if you know light-skinned, like real light-skinned, like typical light-skinned, then you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to do the breakdown. That's not what this video is about. So, anywho, he get up. He go chop it up with the bam. Next thing, no long story short, they get to chop it up. Next thing, no, I guess they friends. You know what I'm saying? So, now he part of almost in the crew. You hear me? We ain't even met the bam face-to-face, and they hanging at the wall, kicking it. So, anywho, we get to chopping it up, and the band was like, uh, what type of books y'all read? Like, he trying, he trying now get in conversation with me, because he already know my bunkie, Ed, hey, he's a, he's a go with the flow type of guy. So, he, he ain't really too much with him, he trying to figure me out now. So, boom. I told him, man, like, all I've been having was urban, you know what I'm saying, novels. I said, I wasn't even reading on the streets. So Slim was like, yeah, I was the exact same way, he said, man. But, uh, he said, I got to the point, see, I read so many of them jumps, I got to the point, like, why is I'm reading this shit? Like, I lived an urban novel, you know what I'm saying? So what is I'm taking from this? Like, if I'm going to sit here and read 300 plus pages on a book, I need to be able to take some away from it. And I never forgot that shit. And I was like, damn. I said, that's law. Because I wasn't even reading on the damn streets. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already, I'm already showing off. Like, I'm so proud of my, myself. I'm writing home about it. Like, yeah, you feel me? Just crushing the book in this junk. You hear me? Like, I'm feeling myself because we didn't read. Like, so I'm psyched. I'm proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. I said, bet. I said, all right, so I want to test the little, the little smart guy. You hear me? So I'm like, okay, what you got over there? What you recommend since, you know what I'm saying? You're shooting down urban novels and shit. Nigga said, I got this, this, and this. I said, send the joint over. My bunky, he riding, tagging along and shit, right? I already knew, I already knew Charlie was over there. But he tagging off, so Charlie sent us two books over. So boom. I dive straight into the joint. I'm hooked. I'm, I'm locked in. I was reading a book called Maximum Influence. Lovely book. If you get the opportunity, go read it. I don't have the author name right right, right here. You know what I'm saying? Straight off back. But I could uh, pull that joint up before I hop off air. If y'all ever want to check that joint out. Definitely. That's the first self-help book that I ever read in my life. And that joint was a major, <clears throat> major, major major game changer you know what I'm saying let me see who is it by Kirk Moltison Kirk Moltison Maximum Influence by Kirk Moltison so boom I read that John and it was a big book like it was bigger than the Bible like it was like the size of the Bible that be at them churches You know where the Bible was already sitting there not the personal junk the junk that already be sitting there and it be open up You know what I'm saying or better yet like when you go to a wedding or something the little big book it was like that size so boom I'm on lockup. I got 365 days, so I'm like, cool. This this gonna do some time for me. You hear me? I mean, if I wanted to be real petty, I'm like, shit, it's gonna do the rest of the bit if I read one page a day. But I'm I ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really trying to get knowledge, so I read my book. You hear me? But when I read, like, I can't sit there and just read a book like this. Like, I have to have the book, and I have to have 
a, a journal open and I have to have my little mini dictionary because mind you, I played in school I was loafing. So I was missing, you know what I'm saying, or suspended when they was doing the syllables. So I ain't really locked that in for real, for real. So yeah, I job in winging it, you know what I'm saying, by the grace of God. So anywho, yeah. So when I say, when I job be stumbling over words and shit, like I don't be playing like, yeah, not no more. You know what I'm saying? But at the time that that was going on, yeah, so yeah. And then I tried to go to school when I came home and the PO wasn't having it. She got in the way. I probably had a job like, mm, snatch that back real quick. But it's all good, you know. God got me. You hit me. So, boom. Hey, I just like got off track real quick, man. Talking about that job and shit. Oh, was talking about, oh, yeah. So, boom, I got my little dictionary, I got my journal, and I got the, uh, book. Because I got to take notes and all that type of stuff. And, and the way I used to read, you know what I'm saying, it's like, I read what I would like to call the getaway. It's like, if I got to a word and I ain't know what it meant, I skipped over that jump and kept on reading. And then, like, jive like a, yeah, figure out what that meant. You hear me? I think it was a, a bad, a bad technique that I was taught in school. That really wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? I think I think that they should have been had us when we got our little beginners package of what we was telling our parents to get us together on. They should have been like, get them little mini dictionaries because we're not doing that skip stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that's what they meant by bump reading. And bump reading wasn't really a good idea either because that was petty. That was petty. You know what I'm saying? Because a bama could just like bump when he got to a word he ain't know and then he sticking on you and they expose you for not knowing the word. That wasn't cool. You hear me? Like, I don't, if he ain't know, I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck it. I bump reading. I get to a word I don't know. I'm bumping it to the teacher. I know you're going to know. If you don't know, then it's time for us to close these books. And <laughs> something got to give. You hear me? So, anywho, I had my jumps out that jump. And um, that's how I started learning, man. And then it started becoming, like, fun. Mind you, I got 365 days on lockup. So, and that's um, 23 hours in the sale. So, boom. Let me put that out because I don't know how YouTube going to act and all that wild, goofy stuff. So, boom. 20, 23 of them hours is in the sale. So, anything I do, I always have to mentally prepare myself for the job. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, all right, boom. It ain't no more walking a child because I'm more locked up. My food won't come to me. So, I ain't coming out the sale for like 23 hours. So, boom. I got I to gotta come up with a routine. So I set my routine, you know what I'm saying? When I get up in the morning, I got my prayer time. That's when I sit back, pray, talk to God, recap, get my head in focus. Because I want to make sure that my head is clear. I reevaluate everything before I get off my bunk and interact with this dude. Because I'm locked in here with 23 hours a day of him. And, and every little thing, you know what I'm saying? If you don't really process this stuff, it can start becoming irritating. The next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? You and your, your cell buddy beefing about nonsense. So that's how I learned how to cope in small, confined environments, you know what I'm saying? So I mentally prepared myself. Then after that, I had one or two things. If I had a good book that I was already reading, then like I was hopping into my book. I read or I write. If I had got mail the other day, like I never respond to my mail the day it come, I wait till like the next morning. That's when I done processed everything, sat back and thought about what was said in that letter. And then I'm ready to hop up now and respond to the jump without rushing just to be saying something. And so the other side, when they get it, they can really comprehend and feel what I'm, I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Since my words is the only thing I can give right now. So that would be that. Then, um, you know, trades will come through, grab the trade, blah, blah, blah. After trades come through, we might sit back. That's, that's when I... I open up a little time in my schedule where I might sit back and kick the what I call kick the bobo. That's when I'm allowed, you know what I'm saying, I'm allowing you to tell me any of you, your little street stories and all that shit, you know what I'm saying. Because I cut those off. I don't do those all day. I cut those off at, at, at certain times. So, this is the time that I open up the floor and let guys tell their little story. Because dudes be lying and I don't be wanting to hear that shit all day. Like, because I could, I could tell when you swell it. Like, I picks that shit up. I pick it up fast. Like, like, like you literally going to stand in my face and like piece by piece try to put this story together just to sound sweet like that don't make sense to me homes that's what we're gonna cut it short you know what I'm, I'm gonna shut it down or i'm gonna start you know what i'm saying mentally fucking you you know what i'm saying and fucking your story up and shit throwing you off so yeah that's where i'd be at with that you know what i'm saying then uh 
y'all might open up. So when y'all open up, we'll holler at the homies there. Come to the gate, come down that jump, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up? What y'all need over that jump? Doing a whole lot of swelling. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to sound sweet. You know what I'm saying? They just sights. They just want to be seen like they know somebody that's behind the wall. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted something to do like oh. Soon they come in the yard. Let me go holler my man. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on them. Like, what you mean check on us? All you doing is coming to the gate saying what's up. You ain't checking on shit. Like, nigga, we fucked up. We hungry. What you gonna do, Nathan? Like, stop playing all the time. You hear me? I ain't even play that game. You hear me? Like, if I'm gonna send you something over, I'm just gonna send it. I know how to get it there. I ain't gotta come sell you drinks. And I'm not hanging at the gate. I'm going to work out. You hear me? When I get off lock up, nigga, where we get? Where we get? Wing in the white pit. You already know where we going. I'm not gonna come in the big yard just to yell at the gate and risk getting sent back in like that don't make sense like it's not that important you know what i'm saying you know what's up with me i send you a kite i need to holler at you boom so yeah the homies will come out the job they come out that job one year hey what's up yo what's up you good nah what's up what you need to get off lock up like stop playing so much like and you here again because like that shit didn't impress me. Like, I wasn't impressed to see you having fun. Like, I'm doing time. Like, let me stay in my zone. Let me go ahead and stay with my routine. So, for that little time. But it bought time every between that little lockup gap that we would see the yard. Like, niggas would really just have messed up prison and had you. Like, dudes would really sit there. And then we had a grill over our window. And the grill is, like, basically, like, our regular window was covered with another little steel grill that had little circles in the jump. So, you had to just, like, look out a little circle. You know what I'm saying? To even peep the yard so the dudes that's yelling at you, they can't see you. You behind a silver little steel jump and they just listening to your voice. You know what I'm saying? Like prison is mad wow, but you get mad creative, you know what I'm saying, in that jump slam and you real loud lose a whole lot of touch with reality. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap out to you. So if you don't mentally build yourself like I was doing, because I figured, I figured, I seen I seen the operation. Soon I got there, I peeped what was going on. I said, oh no, this is a warehouse, you hear me? And I won't be no parts of that, you know what I'm saying? Self, self everything, self everything, self everything. Like I came in 140 pounds, soaking wet, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was healthy as a motherfucker. You dig what I'm talking about? So boom, I knew one thing for sure, two things for certain, you know what I'm saying? Like coming in, when you, uh... When you that small, like, you got to realize you're going to prison, and you're going to be around, like, grown men. Like, I swear, I seen prison movies, you know what I'm saying? And all I seen was dudes working out all day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, like, on the streets, I wasn't working out, so I'm like, that's crazy. Why would you be up in this zone that looked like a gladiator zone? Because that's, like, the only thing I really had. You remember American gladiators and shit? And them dudes was wild, and that's all I could think was, like, them bammers being standing there. That's probably what the good dudes that been down for a minute was going to be like. So, boom, straight out the gate. I'm in that jump, push up. Every time I went to wreck, push up. Any look, look. I don't care what was going on. I don't care what was going on. Like, if we was playing cards, let's play for push ups. If we play chess, let's play for push ups. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? If we reading in between chapters, let's play for push ups. Like. Any reason to do push-ups, I was with it because I had an agenda. I had a focus point. I knew one thing. I was getting ready for this uh, this 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 gladiator school I was on my way to. I knew I was going up. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was going up. I wasn't going to play with them. This was my first run. I, first of all, I didn't know law like that. You know what I'm saying? Second of all, didn't stack my bread up and get a lawyer straight like that. Why? Because my dumb ass just went through a situation prior to catching my actual charge that sent me to prison so my lawyer bond money just went to a situation literally like on a friday beat the charge on a sunday had a new charge that was god saying nah homes bye bye we're gonna get up with you in a couple of years because i gave you a chance and you ain't listen you threw it back in my fucking face no he ain't say fucking take that back i'm gonna edit that out god i swear i'm gonna edit that out because you did not use those words you did not use those words. That was me ab lipping. You did not use those words. But, yeah. Went ahead and sent me up the road. You know what I'm saying? Had to go ahead and take a chill pill. Like, that's how I process things. I don't know how other people deal with their situations. But I look at it for what it is. Like, homes. Like, you had it. You know what I'm saying? You threw it away. What did you do? Threw it back in my face. So, yeah. Like, let me take a short break. Be back in a brief minute. I'll <laughs> get off topic. <laughs>